Hello, today I learned there's a whole load of very familiar English words that actually come from the Irish language. It's quite a few. Let's start with galore. My name is Pussy Galore. Well, this comes from the Irish galore, which means plenty of. And like there was a movie, Whiskey Galore, plenty of whiskey. Whiskey's another one coming from Ishkabaha, which means the water of life. I guess it went something like Ishka, Wishka, 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 Whiskey. Tory. Now, a Tory is a conservative politician in the UK, but the word is Irish. So way back in the 1600s, when Oliver Cromwell was coming into Ireland, the people who were resisting were called the Tora. It's coming from the word Tor, which is to pursue. They were outlaws, kind of highwaymen. Now, a few years later in their parliament, the Whigs and their opposition came to clash, and the Whigs called the other ones the Tories, coming from the Tora. It was meant as an insult. It meant yours are outlaws, your highwaymen, your scoundrels. And funny enough, that nickname stuck and it's still used today. Swanky. It's a bit fancy, it's a bit bougie. Now, swanky is said to come from the Irish word soquani, which means assets. Maybe they're walking into someone's house and they're like, oh, soquani in here, huh? And that came to be swanky. Brogues, the type of shoe, comes from the Irish brogue, which is shoe. A clock, they think came from the Irish clucker, meaning a bell. Phony. This comes from a contract called the phony rig, where the conman would drop a phony, a fake ring that looks expensive but isn't, in someone's bag or near them. Then they'd find it and go, oh my God, it's worth a thousand pound. The stooge is like, well, it was near me, it's mine. The conman's like, oh no, it's not, it's mine. The stooge is like, no, it's mine. The conman's like, mm, look, I'll let you keep it if we go halves on it. So the stooge gets to keep the useless ring and the conman gets 500 quid. That was called the fawny rig, coming from the Irish fawnia, meaning ring. Not from the Irish language per se, but hooligan comes from hooligan, which is an Irish surname. There was an 1800s drinking song about a rowdy Irish family, the Hooligans, I'm guessing, but they probably pronounced what was meant to be a silent G. So a song about the rowdy old Hooligan clan came to mean Hooligans. Boycott. Now this is from a fella called Captain Charles Boycott, who kicked a load of tenants off the land in County Mayo. So all the locals said, well, feck you then. We're not going to work with you and we're not going to talk to you. And nobody did. Hence a boycott. So those are a few words that went from Irish to English. Again, I probably pronounced everything wrong, but you know, be kind. So that is something I have learned today. I will have another one for you tomorrow. If you found this interesting, please do share the video. Thank you very much.